where the uh, where the main camp is, Osheti uh, Shakoa, I think it's called, is that Army Corps land? Uh, the 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 camps that are uh, south of the Cannonball, I believe it's Cannonball River. Those are on Army Corps property. Okay, and. In terms of what constitutes Army Corps property, property, because uh, I'm told by many people this is Native Americans' land, but then I'm told it's Army Corps land. Can you can you break that down for me? Is it is it Native American land by the 1851 treaty, or it's not Native American land? I I honestly don't know enough about the the treaty to know uh, the specific history of it. I know that it's currently classified as. As Army Corps federal property, um, I'm, I'm not qualified to speak on the treaty piece of it. And that that uh, specific section, the land, is Army Corps land, but the Army Corps is allowing the protectors uh, to be out there, correct? Yes. Yeah, we've 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 made that uh, accommodation basically for the purpose of uh, of peaceful assembly and, and protest. Okay, and. In terms of Army Corps land, uh, where Native Americans are, uh, the Native Americans might deem it their land by treaty, which, like you said, you're not positive about the particulars about the treaty. But what makes what makes the land Army Corps land? Is it is it land that, you know, a certain law has made Army Corps land? I'm just trying to understand Army Corps land. What makes it Army Corps land? Property is established by some act of law. Um, we have we have uh, reservoir, uh, lake, river projects all over the country, uh, mm-hmm. and and by whatever law or act authorized uh, that particular project, uh, the, those project areas are considered uh, considered federal property. I see, and the whole Dakota Access Pipeline pathway to date is any of that is any of the pipeline not just in the immediate um, standing rock reservation area but is any of the pipeline on army corps land Uh, i am not aware of it currently crossing through core properties but i don't it's 1167 miles roughly I believe of pipeline that's the total area mm-hmm. uh, I have not I have not looked at a complete map to see if it's you know if it crosses any of our uh, other areas uh, I'm pretty confident it does cross some uh, Department of the Interior lands perhaps mm-hmm. uh, but I don't know specifically with, uh, with whether or not there's any other core locations mm-hmm. uh, that, uh, that are involved I mean, we, we, we roughly, the, the, the entire core, uh, basically, authority uh, for, the, for the pipeline under our, uh, our, our regulatory and permitting authorities, we account for about 37 total miles out of the 1,167 uh, miles, and the rest of it is permitted through state, local, private landowners. Mm-hmm. Uh, other other agencies so i mean we just we have a very small chunk overall of what the, what our authorities are but i don't know i don't know specifically whether or not it touches any other uh, any other core properties i i i would think not uh, i'm only aware of one section 408 request which is the uh, uh, section under lake Oahe uh, mm-hmm. that would be required for the easement that's the only easement request that I know that was associated with it. And normally, if, if the pipeline was going to cross, uh, or any any proposed project was going to cross uh, or impact uh, core property, it would require a, uh, a Section 408 permit. And there's the only the one that I'm aware of. And the what is an easement? Well, an, an easement basically is is, is the uh, uh, pretty much like like at, at your your home if you grant somebody an easement, it means you know they they have. 
have permission to, you still uh, own the property, but somebody's got permission to access it to do something. So right. in this case, you know, it would be to run the pipeline underneath the river uh, through, across what, what would be considered Corps of Engineers federal property. Right, okay. And um, in terms of the per- actual permit to uh, give them the easement and that they would drill uh, right around or under Lake Oahe, um, now, are there any Army Corps of Engineers observers out there at all or Department of Justice observers uh, to to see what they're doing? Because obviously there's a, there's a fear that they are going to just do it anyway. No, and the, and the company understands uh, very clearly they cannot, they cannot do the drilling across the Corps of Engineers property without that easement. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I, I mean... We, we since Lake Oahe is a core project area, uh, you know we have a presence in and around that area. But as far as uh, monitoring the company and make sure they don't start drilling underneath, um, the, the, the company very clearly understands uh, that they can't do that without the easement being granted. Mm-hmm. And so, just to confirm, you guys don't have any observers out here. Well, we have people who are in and around the area. We don't have anybody who is who is standing out there on a permanent basis uh, to try to watch watch the company. Um, you know, again, they're not on they're not on Corps of Engineers property. Uh, we don't have any authorities outside of Corps of Engineers properties. So the activities that they're doing beyond Corps of Engineers properties that's that's not something that uh, that we have any authority over. Uh, you know, for monitoring or anything of that nature. Uh, it would certainly be very obvious if they started to try to do any kind of, of drilling that wasn't authorized to be done. Well, the reason I ask is because I myself have been out there and I was reporting the other night and it, I saw snipers and police uh, and they. it seemed from what the natives were saying that they were on the Army Corps land. So that's why I'm wondering why there isn't observers out here because it seems like the police are uh, coming onto Army Corps land where they're not supposed to be. Well, I, I don't know if you uh, the, the the there was a uh, one portion of the area out there that the uh, Morton County, County Sheriff's Office uh, was was given uh, permission to be by the Corps. Um, the Corps of Engineers does not have its own law enforcement. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, force or, or capability. So around the country, uh, it's standard uh, for us to work with lo- local law enforcement on an, uh, on an agreement basis, uh, on an as-needed basis. If we need support and something happens or anything on or around one of our project areas, and law enforcement is required to to support. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, the 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 incident from a couple of days ago, the sheriff's department uh, was given. To uh, core property for the purpose of removing uh, the, the, uh, the people and structures that uh, were not authorized to, to be on the core property. And c- what is the? Uh, you said that the Morton County Sheriff was given permission to be in certain areas. Was what areas are those? Well, it, it was, there's uh, they have. Uh, uh, matter of fact, they they posted a news release that. that Name the specific location. It's like a Canta Peaky Creek or something. I mm-hmm. off the top of my head, I don't remember. But it was it was a very very specific location uh, for that purpose. Now, as to as to what uh, you know, maybe uh, at or around the, the construction site, uh, I don't know what combination of uh, yes. security guards or anything that they've got out there. Again, that's outside of Corps of Engineers property, and it's not. Um, not anybody that uh, you know we have any authority over as far as uh, what presence they have in those areas. Okay, and uh, my last question is uh, where where the latest press release that was sent out. Uh, the Wi-Fi and service is here is bad. Uh, what was the latest update from from the Army Corps on this situation? Because I know you guys have been sending out new press releases. Uh, we really have not been sending out press releases. Uh, related to it, uh, we have we have generally been uh, been responding, uh, and, and most of what has gone out uh, over the last several weeks has been uh, published by the Department of Justice. 
uh, related to uh, court decisions and things of that nature. So yeah, we there's 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 not much that has uh, actually been published as news releases by the court, and a lot of that is just because of the ongoing litigation that's out there. Right. Uh, and the, lit- the litigation, uh, many you know, we're, like most federal agencies, if something's in litigation, it, it limits uh, a lot of what you can uh, can say with respect to. Uh, situation so uh, I am not familiar with any recent news releases uh, that may have gone out in the last few days uh, that would have been published by us reference the uh, uh, the pipeline okay and my last question I'm not sure if you would know this the the main road that uh, they the, the police currently have that blockade is that private or Army Corps land right above the cannibal River where uh, the police are blockading right now the one road that's up there, uh, I mean, you would you would have to confirm locally. I believe that road is, in fact, a, a public through fair. Mm-hmm. Um, I know a um, um, couple of weeks or a week, we can have uh, days are all running together. Um, but uh, there there was a section that uh, the, uh, the, the, the the tribes or some of the uh, the, 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 the protesters had set up some blockades and. Tires and things of that nature on a couple of roads. If, if you're talking the same roadways, um, those were public through fares, and that's the reason that they were trying to be cleared, uh, is because they they are public uh, public roadways. Thanks so much for your time.